Hey guys, my name is Sam from the YouTube channel Prep Medic, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use a CPR face shield. So CPR face shields are used to deliver rescue breaths to patients. During CPR, this is at a 30 to 2 ratio. You do 30 compressions and 2 breaths. In the case where somebody is apneic, they've stopped breathing for a multitude of different reasons, this will be one breath every six seconds. When you deliver a breath, the breath should be over one second, and you should stop breathing for them when you see chest rise. Now, to actually use one of these shields, and why you'd want to use one of these shields, this will protect you from communicable diseases. You can absolutely do mouth-to-mouth -mouth respirations for a patient without one of these. However, it leaves you open to a lot of different communicable diseases, and in this day and age, that's a risk you do not want to take. So when you're applying this, what you can do, and different brands will have different ways to apply them, but they all remain relatively similar. This one here, we're gonna take the plastic, we're gonna lay it over the patient's face. This has a one-way valve and that should be positioned at the center of the patient's mouth. We're going to take, in this case, both ear loops, put them around the patient's ear to keep it in place. And then we're gonna take our left hand and our right hand. Left hand should be positioned on the patient's forehead. Right hand should be positioned under the chin. And you're gonna do what's called a head tilt chin lift. So you're gonna pull the head back slightly. You wanna use caution and fall back on your training if you suspect a spinal injury. Then with the hand over the chin, you're going to open the mouth slightly, and with your left hand over the forehead, you're gonna pinch their nose. You can go down with an open mouth, and you're gonna deliver your rescue breaths. Like I said before, if it's during CPR, you're gonna do two rescue breaths in relatively rapid succession. If it is apnea, they're not breathing, then we're gonna give one breath every six seconds-ish. The time to get familiar with these devices is not when you're in the middle of an emergency. So if you are buying a CPR face shield, I'd recommend trying to pick up two, just so you can take one out of the packaging, get familiar with its use before you actually have to use it in the real world. For more motorcycle related first aid content, check out the other videos in this series. For more EMS related content and medical care in general, I can be found at Prep Medic on YouTube or on Instagram.